everybody, T Mac here. We're going to give you a little update with Wildfit Outdoors TV. Um, season's just started. Got to get out a little bit the other day, a couple of days, actually uh, this morning. Wait, no, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so not this morning. Yesterday morning, <laughs> the day before, uh, got out, you know, haven't seen much, one little buck. Uh, but I wanted to kind of give you all an update on what's going on. Uh, I just watched a video from Leatherwood Outdoors. Uh, we're not affiliated with them, but they have a great channel, and uh, they got a video talking about an update with them as far as what they're up to, and uh, it talks about the new YouTube changes or regulations or censorship, whatever you want to talk, to, whatever you want to say about it. Uh, basically, in that video, the Little Bit Outdoors guys, they or he goes into detail. I'm not going to do that. Uh, basically, a lot of uh, my videos have been flagged as not suitable for all advertisements. Uh, what that means is people pay YouTube to put their advertisements on our videos. Uh, and a lot of my videos are been deemed inappropriate now. Uh, the stipulations are nudity, bad language, and uh, stuff that they deem unfit or not suitable for monetization. So what that means is I don't get paid no more. <laughs> uh, I, well, I do make a little bit of money. I promise you, it is. It was a little bit. Now it's a very, very, very little. Uh, we kind. I kind of seen stuff coming with a while back. The whenever you know Google owns YouTube. Whenever they bought them. Uh, Back before that, I was making okay money, you know. I didn't have near as many subscribers as I do now, or views, and I made more money then because of, you know, monetization. But when, after Google bought it, they changed some stuff around. I'm sure you, some of you, a lot of you creators out there know what I'm talking about. Uh, money went down. I think one month... Before Google bought them, and I made over three hundred dollars in one month, which I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but just for doing this, something I love, uh, that's, that was pretty good money. Uh, now, you know, then after Google bought them out and the changes were made, and they bought, you know, Google Plus, uh, that got cut about in half. Uh, and in the off season, you know. Like, I haven't seen a Google Paycheck now in a couple months at least. And, you know, I've never done this for the money. It, it's just something that was there and we used to do things like upgrade cameras and, you know, software. Uh, maybe purchase something here and there for the channel, you know, to upgrade the channel. Like, this is the camera I was using. Uh, I'm using one similar to this now, only it's a Sony, and uh, but you know it's three or four years old now. That camera I'm using right now, and when you flip it out and turn it over, you can't even see what, on what's going on there. When you flip it out, it fades out. You gotta hold it just a certain way. You know I need a new camera, and that's all there is to it. So that's what the Google money would go to. Uh, but now, you know. It's just going to have to come out of my pocket, I guess. So, uh, what's that mean? It doesn't really change anything. I'm going to just have to take a little... This camera, I'm going to have to hold on to a little longer. Take it out in the woods. Uh, until I can get a bigger camera arm for my Nikon. Uh, you know, I don't even have a real camera arm. I built one. I was going to buy a good camera arm this year. Uh, save up the Google revenue. But... That's not going to happen now. So, unless that money comes out of my pocket, it's just going to have to wait. Um, but what this means, I think, to you as a subscriber here at Walk for That Doors TV, is you get to watch this stuff without commercials on it. You know, that's good for you. Uh, I'm still going to bring it to you, but they're going to start censoring us even more and more uh, you know I try to promote 
Christian beliefs, uh, good stewardship of land management. Uh, you know, tr I try to promote the outdoors the way I see it and the way I want it to be, and it all in a good thing, you know. And having trapping videos, you know, that's the most controversial outdoor activity there is right now. And it's also one of the ones that's actually growing. And, you know, my trapping videos do better than any other video. They're going to, I mean, they're censoring those two. Keep trying to keep the ads off of that. And it basically comes down to YouTube and their, you know, their agenda. And, you know, trying to silence us as hunters, as outdoorsmen, because it doesn't fit into their big city tofu bunny hugging lifestyle I guess um, you know this is real life this is how life should be you know go out get what you need take from the land what you need put back therefore be green and eco-friendly you know not driving down to the local store every other day purchasing goods and that's full of chemicals meat that's full of chemicals and hormones and steroids and stuff that your body does not need and you know is harmful for your body you know we're doing the real thing the natural thing the thing that everybody did a hundred years ago you know pretty much everybody lived off the land two hundred years ago so you know, it's, I don't know what the end game is for YouTube, but I'm sure they are going to start cracking down on channels like mine. Uh, Leatherwood Outdoors is already talking about it. I've been seeing posts on Facebook. What needs to happen, and I can't do it, I don't know who can do it, but there needs to be a place out there, a platform for us outdoorsmen that, you know, isn't censored like that. Because... This is definitely going to affect the growth. Uh, a lot of the sponsors we get are because of my YouTube channel. Uh, they see the subs, they see the views, they see the content, they like it. They they see you know an advantage in putting their name with my name to get them sales, and you know it all works out for the outdoor community. That's going to start to slowly shrink and not be available I think so it's going to be harder to get uh, you know sponsors so and even on Facebook it's I've seen it, it's happening there too uh, advertising on Facebook every time you go on there they've got something oh you know ten bucks a day and you can have five thousand more people see your stuff just pay this amount of money yeah but if you go into that and you try to advertise with Facebook you can't have this on there you can't have a gun pointed at a deer or a bow pointed at an animal you know there's all these regulations you know you can't hurt anybody's feelings you can't you know the sensitive people that are in the world you just can't offend them and those people are you know they shouldn't even be looking at this stuff if it's not their thing go away uh, you know and what's going to really affect is those new people coming up, the young people coming up that want to get in the outdoors. This is their platform. They go to YouTube, they look at videos, they learn, and this is going to shrink that window. So that's what's going on. I don't plan on stopping. You know, bow season just started, so getting uh, going to keep bringing videos as, as many as I can to y'all. Uh, you know, life and work. It all has to, you know, it, it, it can take its toll. I may not get them out there as fast as I used to, but I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to still keep trapping, hunting, fishing, because, you know, we stop buying meat from the store. It's bad. It's not good for you. So we are going to start doing things like the old ways. We're going to get more chickens for butchering. We're going to get more chickens for eggs, uh, turkeys. You know, we're going to start living a little more self-sustaining life, and we're going to bring that to you, but, you know, YouTube's cracking down, 
it won't be long. I mean, they're not cracking down to a point where they're trying to drive us out. But please, if you you know, if you like these videos, share them, get them out there, and let's you know. Hopefully, maybe you guys know something I don't about a platform where I can go and not be censored. That would be great. Or if that platform doesn't really exist, man, we need to find somebody to make that platform because. We are getting squeezed out. Christian beliefs, outdoors, these are all things that are looked down upon these days. So, they're gonna, the agenda is there. YouTube is just like any of these other, you know, you can tell just by how they advertise on the YouTube channel itself. They do not want us on there. It's that plain and simple. They don't want to push us out because there's such a large group of us and we do bring a lot to the table, a lot of advertising, but they are trying to squeeze us out. So keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing these videos, and uh, God willing, I'll keep bringing them to you. Love you all. God bless. I'll see you next time.